Hi, I'm Miracle Smith, a junior at Pine Forge Academy. You may be wondering what ASSET is. ASSET is Alumni Association Student Engagement Team. In this video, I'll be asking different alumni up to two questions on how they can be better alumni and a part of ASSET. What are some ways alumni can be involved in ASSET? My name is Jay Moore. I graduated from Pine Forge in 1989, so it's been, it's been a little while. I'm thinking that just coming to events would definitely help. Specific events, if it's you know, where they're bringing the alumni in, you know, knowing at around Labor Day we come up for alumni weekend and we do things at that time, that's what we need to do. So that's, that's a starting point. But I think for alumni, we just have to want to come back and you know give more of what we have you know if it's you know if we're teachers you know accountants or lawyers you know just give back what we already have so that the students have something that's more real life instead of just you know what they have at school so my name is Darius Woods I graduated in the year 2016 I believe that alumni can be more involved in asset by actually coming to the campus and getting to know the students and informing them on what the program is and what they're trying to do with it my name is Paul Washington, uh, graduate of the prestigious class of 1990. I think one way that uh, alumni can participate in access financially is one way, but if you can't do it financially, one thing is mentorship. And I believe that, you know, as young black Americans, we all need mentors. Uh, and I feel like, you know, different, you know, there's different facets and different fields, and each one of us, especially, you know, those who've had uh, professions and have actually been here can also put their time in and come back and try to give back. I try to do that myself, get involved with some of the uh, programs such as the Handy Hall, Young Professionals, and just, just give up your time. Good morning, my name is Kobe Matlock, a member of the class of 91. I think one of the best ways to give back, personally speaking, my opinion, would be to just um, invest time uh, with the students in meaningful ways. I think you know that would be very helpful service projects mostly and uh, for me I think what I would need to know is communication more ways I can get involved because maybe the students or the school sees ways that would be uh, beneficial to the young people so without me reinventing the wheel just reaching out let me know what I can do and I think I would be more than willing to help in any capacity that I could. While you were a student at PFA how do you think asset could have helped you? I think that would help. Now, when I was here, I think it was just, it was probably similar to what it is now, where the students are just with each other all the time. Um, if, you know, if I had more connections with folks that were out there already doing it, I think it would help me from making a lot of the mistakes that I made, you know. So, just from a, a mistakes perspective, it would help just because I could share with the students or the score or that alumni could share with you know the students what paths not to take. I think access uh, could really help the campus on the whole is if they could bring the staff and the students together. And what I mean by that is when I was here we had an environment where it was a us against them uh, mentality, meaning that faculty against the students or you felt like there were a lot of rules and you felt like you were going to always get in trouble for just the minimum amount of um, things. I think if the alumni came back and kind of brought us together, I think there would be a, most, a more cohesive relationship between the staff and also the students rather than seeming like they're always trying to get us in trouble. And so I think that would incorporate along with the, uh, the mentorship. Um, and help us to understand, you know, what's the vision? Because um, as a young child, you don't really know. You just you're up here on campus and you're away from your parents and you got these do's and don'ts and you know, yeah, you wanna you wanna get a good education, but you also want to have a social uh, a social atmosphere where you can have some fun with your peers. And sometimes things seem a little restrictive, but I think that if we had a better understanding on both ends, I think we could really have a, a good atmosphere. And I think it would uh, bring actually more students here. And I think, you know, we would uh, actually have a more productive academy. If I was still a student at Pine Forge Academy, I think it have helped me in many ways. See, I, along with many students, struggle with tuition. And I know I spend a lot of time in the dorm not being clear. And I know it's a hard process to go through, but I think we all could benefit from a little aid every now and then. So in having the alumni help us, we'd be able to bring back one day the same help to other students. Uh, 
probably would be just having a positive role model, um, somebody to speak to, talk to, uh, different perspectives maybe on the situation I was currently, you know, facing. So I, I just needed support as a student. I think that would have been very beneficial. So I think now you have successful professionals, good character individuals that are alumnus that I think really can make a, a positive impact by just getting to know the students and talking to them and sharing their life experiences so that they can have a different um, insight of maybe what, what they can accomplish themselves as people.